Hello, this is the project I made for my operating systems research project. Um, we were given the freedom to choose really anything to do with um, related to operating systems. So I decided to schedule around Robin um, scheduling algorithm. So I will just run this through real quick. So it gives the option for the user to enter in the quantum time for the processes, so I will do 0.2 seconds. Um, then I'll be starting to run through all three jobs, running each job for 0.2 seconds at a time before switching to the next job. So it's going to be running through all of these. Um, the third job is the smallest job. That one's 250,000. The second job is a half a million. And then the first job is 750,000. So you're going to see that Third job is going to be done first, now second job is almost done, and now the first job is just going to finish um, last. So then after that's all run, there's gonna it's going to list the data for the three processes. So the first process had a runtime of 17 seconds, a wait time of 20 seconds as it was waiting for the other two jobs to run, and then the turnaround time is the two times added up. And we have the second process as well as the third process all listed. Um, then we have the average waiting time for the three processes, it's just the three wait times added together divided by three. The average turnaround time, same thing, added together and divided by three. And then the total run time for the three processes. So this whole program took 37 seconds to run. Um, then we had this little bit of data that I added for my analysis phase, um, just kind of adjusting as if runtime um, was obsolete. And then we have this, these two data points. Um, this is just saying process one should have been uh, three times longer, but just because of run error and like my computer being slower at some points, it was actually um, just 2.36 times longer. Um, then we'll just move into the code real quick. So this is just asking the user to enter the um, quantum time. Then we have the three jobs. These are all the same, just the difference is the length of the three processes. So as I said before, third process is the shortest, second job is the half a million first job is the longest at 750,000. So it's going to enter this loop. Um, it will enter the time that it entered the loop. Then it's going to go into a for loop, continuously printing out job one is at this and this line, job one is at the next line, um, continuing its way through. But every time it runs through the loop, it's going to check if it has surpassed the quantum time. So it's going to check the current time that it's at, the current time that it entered the loop, and if that's larger than the quanta, then it's going to exit the loop and record the line where it left off. Then I have this loop down here. Um, this is going to be where it switches between the jobs. So if job one ran last, then it's going to make sure job two ran, runs next. And it's also checking to see that if the job has finished, then it's just going to be skipping that job and moving to the next job. And then lastly, I have this program down here. This is um, where it calculates the data and the description for all um, the processes. So it's going to be taking the quanta interval, the runtime um, list, 